guys welcome to Femi's desserts view youtube channel so today is for another blog box boss star recipe my vanilla pound cake recipe this particular recipe is not the typical buttermilk recipe vanilla that contains milk this recipe is very rugged typically quote and unquote not hard but it's really really well structured it's very perfect for those that want to make wedding cakes or cakes that are you know very heavily built that you need structured cakes that will still taste very yummy for those that don't like rich fruit cakes or those that don't like alcohol in their cakes now the snack about this one is you can even add a bit of alcohol if you feel like you want to preserve it for a longer time it basically contains equal measurements of all the ingredients in it and that's why it's a pound cake it's like a balance but in my own recipe i have modified my own because i always have this you know this sentiment about too much sugar in my recipe so for instance now this recipe calls for 500 grams of all-purpose flour grams of all-purpose flour 500 grams of eggs as seen here and when you're measuring that 500 grams ensure that you are measuring without the shell so that you can get the accurate measurement and then it takes 500 grams of butter and it is supposed to take 500 grams of sugar but i always reduce mine to 300 grams of sugar being that the balance i need is just at the mark of the 300 so for me sugar the when i get to the mark that i need for the sugar i just give it a stop there so for me at 300 grams my sugar is the perfect balance it doesn't alter the structure i think any other thing is excess now okay so because i know that what really makes the structure of the cake aside from sugar is the flour and of course the egg is the fluffiness so that it doesn't end up being hard or too you know too heavy in any way so we're going to go right into it now it, it also requires one um, tablespoon of baking powder of course that's the rising and the preservative and then it requires um, the, a dash of nutmeg and a dash of cinnamon which is actually very optional okay so the cinnamon takes about half of a teaspoon and then the nutmeg is just about a dash on it so what we're going to be doing now is just we're going to be mixing it now we're going to be creaming the butter and the sugar till it is light and fluffy before we then go ahead to add up the other ingredients that is after the sugar and the um the butter mix to be light and fluffy we then add the dry ingredients and then the egg we alternate the egg and the dry ingredients starting with the eggs and ending with the flour your fruit cakes your christmas fruit cakes for those that don't like you know the brown colored rich fruit cake all you need to do is just to add up your raisins and your pistachios your nuts or whatever into this recipe and you're going to be having you know a known alcohol based kind of fruit cake because you're going to be eating the raisins anyway you're going to be eating the cherries the sultanas and the likes of it but today we're keeping it very plain and simple that is just a base recipe so once i make it just know that you can actually switch things up by yourself so let's go right now i'll whip this up for the next 10 minutes or 15 minutes depending on the intensity of the mixer and then i'll be back to finish this up <laughs> Look fine. So this is what it looks like when I think it to be light and foggy. You can see that the color of the butter and light is up and of course it's more aerated and more foggy. So at this point what I'm going to be doing is to be add is to add vanilla flavor into it. It's going to be taking two tablespoons of vanilla flavor. That is to put any kind of you know after oil or anything that might come with. And then, like I said earlier, I just need a dash of nutmeg. I really don't measure that, just a dash, just with your hands. And then I just use half of a teaspoon of the brown cinnamon. It's just a further enhancement of flavor. Half of a teaspoon. Go in. It doesn't contain salt anyway because this margarine I'm using is a salted margarine. So I don't need to add any 
additional salt. You can just give this a quick whisk as always to make sure it's all incorporated. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now is to top the mixer, start adding the eggs. But before I start adding the eggs, I'm going to give it a quick okay, like this. Use the egg. I normally don't just whip directly. I just use my wire whisk to give it a quick whisk. This is to break it into bits so that any kind of heaviness inside of it is broken down in texture. Now, it's not you know whipped up stiff. It's just broken into bits. So I will just add the first part. So really, the egg is going to go in two times, and then the flour is going to go in um, two times as well. So this is. It's going to be egg, flour, egg, and then the flour. So this is the first bit of egg. Like always, I don't measure this. I just add both to make sure I have enough to go two times. So once you put the first bit, you have to whip it. You have to mix this in and allow it to get just combined, not overly incorporated because it's a pancake. You must not over mix it so you don't toughen the batter. It's time to add the flour. I didn't necessarily have to stop it. So it's on the lowest and I'm adding the flour in two batches, don't forget, that's the first batch. In this increase. So at this time now, I'm just going to turn this into all of the pans and then I'll pop it into my preheated oven like I said earlier for a minimum of um, 25 minutes for this one. I'm putting everything at the same time anyway, but this is going to come out first, obviously, because it's small. And then this is going to come out last, very obviously. So I'll pop it into the oven and set it at a timer of 40 minutes. So at the mark of 25 minutes, I'll take this out. And then whilst this is done, until you insert your toothpick or your cake tester at the very center and it comes out clean, that is only when it is done. So this is just how I pour it. And when you pour your cake into your butter, your butter into your pan rather, for this kind of recipe, you have to make sure to heat it gently on your work surface 
or you know on a sturdy surface to so make sure to get rid of every air pocket that might be stuck in it through the mixing and because of the composition of the cake generally so so that you don't have all of those holes like holes kind of you know results when you come to your cake so you're just gonna hit this gently on the work surface a couple of times and then you are good to go yeah so i'll do the rest behind camera to save up on time so our vanilla pound cake is ready and all set now. So look at what it looks like or what they look like. This came out first, so it's warm now, but this two just came out and they're still pretty heated. So I'll turn this for you now to see what it looks like. Right? Oops. See what it looks like on the bottom side. So, okay, so I'll repeat the same process with this one as well. Okay. Texture from the underneath side, see, and then still eat it. But I'll try. Okay. So, all of these cakes just turned out looking so pretty. Look at the bottom side and look at the top side of it. So, you would notice that this is slightly raised higher and you know, it even looks firmer to touch. But this is so amazing. So let me just cut this very quickly so that we can end this class. I don't have my saucer, so yeah. What is this? We we'll just cut through from any part. And there you have it. This is what the result of the but has the perfect structure that can hold up any kind of weight on any cake. So going to be all for today i hope you enjoyed learning something new i hope you're going to try this out i hope you're going to start infusing this into your cake menu and you know you won't have the fear of um i don't make vanilla cakes for my fondant cakes and the likes of it my vanilla cake recipe sits well with fondant but i'm saying for those that want something a bit more sturdy and firm structured and for those that have this lactose intolerance that they can't take anything milky or anything this is the perfect recipe for you so till next time i remain your favorite girl let me know in the comments if you found this helpful your reviews your feedbacks your comments and whatever it is your criticism and everything i'm open to everything let us continue to do the network here let's continue to grow our community here in this number one online cake university i remain your favorite baker girl female students girl bye bye